Lahar, the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. In the annals of history, few events are as awe-inspiring and devastating as volcanic eruptions. But the disaster doesn't end there. The aftermath is often equally, if not more, destructive. Today, we revisit one such catastrophic event. The Lahar, caused by the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. This tragic event is a stark reminder of the immense power of nature and the resilience of the human spirit. Lahar is commonly associated with the devastating volcanic mud flows that occur during and after volcanic eruptions, particularly in areas where volcanoes are located near bodies of water. The eruption of Mount Pinatubo, located on the island of Luzon, was one of the most significant volcanic eruptions of the 20th century. It occurred on June 15, 1991 and resulted in the release of a massive amount of volcanic ash and pyroclastic material into the atmosphere. The eruption generated lahars as heavy rainfall mixed with volcanic debris, creating destructive mud flows that flowed down the slopes of the volcano and into nearby river systems. The lahars from Mount Pinatubo traveled down river valleys and ravines, engulfing towns and villages in the surrounding areas. The cities of Angeles and Olongapo, as well as numerous smaller communities, were severely impacted. Lahar deposits covered vast areas of land, burying homes, infrastructure, and agricultural fields. The devastation caused by the Pinatubo Lahars was immense. It is estimated that hundreds of people lost their lives and thousands were displaced from their homes. The eruption and subsequent Lahars also had significant economic repercussions as agricultural lands were destroyed, transportation routes were disrupted, and communities struggled to recover. Another notable Lahar event occurred in 2006 after an eruption of Mount Mayon, located in the province of Albay, in the Bicol region of the Philippines. The eruption triggered lahars that flowed down the slopes of the volcano, particularly through the gullies and river channels. These lahars posed a significant threat to nearby communities, forcing the evacuation of thousands of residents. Efforts to mitigate the impact of lahars in the Philippines have included the construction of lahar diversion channels, dikes, and early warning systems. These measures aim to provide advance notice to communities in the path of potential lahars and facilitate evacuation procedures to minimize losses of life. The Lahars in the Philippines serve as a reminder of the ongoing volcanic activity in the country and the importance of preparedness and disaster management. The government, along with scientific and local communities, continues to monitor volcanic activity and raise awareness about the potential hazards of Lahars to mitigate their impact and protect vulnerable populations. We hope you found this deep dive into the Lahars of the Philippines insightful. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, stay curious, stay vigilant, and never stop learning.